Oh, God, I'm ready to eat, y'all. Let's cook. Well, there's nobody here yet, guys. Happy Thursday. I'm going to set up and get ready to cook breakfast. Oh, God, it's so cold in here. Whew. Oh, Lord. Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to my channel. Part two, cooking breakfast. Ain't nobody here yet, y'all. So I'm going to put this on mute and set up for my live. Yeah, we're going to cook a Southern Christmas breakfast. Today is block two of 21 Days of Christmas with the Carolina Diamond. And I said I'm going to go live all day. This is part two, y'all. The reason why I'm talking so low is because, guys, it's cold. <laughs> there's nobody here with me, so why am I whispering? But anyway, there's nobody here. I'm going to sit up until somebody come. Put this on mute. Hashtag footnote to edit right here for me. And if somebody's out there and I don't see, happy Thursday. I'm just setting up and going to cook breakfast. So let's put this on mute and wait until everybody get here.
Yeah, I'm about to cook me some breakfast, y'all. So there's a poll up there. Ask you what is Carolina Diamond cooking? I got cheese and eggs. I got bacon and grits, and I misspelled eggs. Please forgive me. I do have a little education, but sometimes ain't nobody perfect. I make mistakes. Good morning, Regina. I'm about to cook some breakfast, honey. Got to cook the grub on. You know me. I'm Carolina Diamond. Um, I've been on YouTube now about three years. I'm more of a moderator than anything, but every now and then I like to go live cook. I'm not a, uh, I don't have a special nick or anything. I just be me, retired service member. And I'm about to cook me some breakfast. No sound? Oh. There we go. I am so sorry, honey. Thank you for letting me know. Um, Regina, how you doing, dog? I'm about to cook some breakfast, y'all. Uh, the reason why I'm live today, normally I'm watching Abandoned Boys. He's now gaming channel over at Miss fucking wonderful Katie, my girl. I don't see her channel. I need my fix and Katie Roby. So I said I was going to go live all day. You know, not all day because I know y'all got important things to do. But just the highlights of my day. And right now I'm about to cook some breakfast, honey. First of all, I got to clean the kitchen. But um, how's your day going, Regina? Here in North Carolina, it is 35 degrees. I'm letting the sun in because it is cold. Cold, cold, cold. So I'm going to be live all day today. I'm going to do a Katie Roby today. Give you all of my life, all of me, even my cries. And I just hope I have a good day because they are my man. But you're going to see it, honey. But this live this morning is I'm going to cook a great winter southern breakfast. In the poll, it says, what am I going to cook? What is Carolina Diamond cooking today? Option one, cheese and eggs. <laughs> B, um, crits and bacon. C, nothing. Well, it ain't C because I'm gonna cook, y'all. Right now I'm cleaning up my kitchen, honey. You know, um, I am just getting over COVID-19. I went to took the test and it came out false positive, meaning that I was exposed to it and then took three COVID-19 shots already because military. I spent 30 years in army, but I over 30 years. I'm tired now. And, uh, but my throat hurts and my grandkids, my daughter had COVID and they beat it. So that was the exposure. I had to take care of the babies. But anyway, if you have not got your COVID-19 shot, I can't tell you what to do, but I would highly advise you all to. My own mother, well, mother figure, she's not really my mom. She is 70 some years old and she won't take a COVID 19 shot. I love her so much from a long distance. I said, Mom, I call her Mom. And she's not my real mom. My mom died in 1998. Yeah, hold on. I'm not going to answer that. When I go live, I hate when people call me. Boy, this is my uncle. Um, come to find out, he is um, on this thing called Crack. Look, kids, when they chat, love you. You should be, be in school somewhere. He is a crack addict, and he calls me all the time to take him somewhere. No one taking nobody. We'll get no drugs, honey. Dude, not that. No, no, no. I mean, you out there making money, and you want to choose crack, then you ought to be able to take a the step there and get it. If I don't smoke crack, and I don't want to be around. They managed that. But, you know, that's just the way it is. You know, we all got crazy people in our family. He's just one of them. I ain't messing with that fool. Uh, don't need no charges on me. But y'all, I'm cleaning up. Um, right now I'm washing my dishes. You know, I love having my kitchen clean. Normally when I go live cooking, I've been already started up. Y'all know me for a while if you're here. Two people in the building. Hey, how you doing, honey? Um, one thumbs up and please guys, hit that like button. I mean, you know, it's free, you know. Save the time typing to you and lets me know. I'm doing so, but you know, a lot of people come to people chats. Any about the the uh, statistics of putting a thumbs up, thumbs down, you know. But you know, if you want to, you know, if, let, let me know that I'm doing something right on YouTube. Man, I was a uh, Regina. I don't know if you watch Miss Fucking Wonderful and you know all those beautiful channels out there because you got three billion YouTubers. Let's keep it on. But she's one I love. I love Miss Wonderful, man. Miss Fucking Wonderful. That's a channel. It's not, not F, excuse me, plus, because it's not, it's, well, you see front of like, but she take the U with a V. And I look up, and I don't see Katie Roberts' channel, so I'm, like, praying that she is hiding it, and then not anybody gave her a challenge, right? Because Katie is good people, and I just love her to death. I mean, she, she's not 
relative of mine or we don't sit down to eat Sunday dinners, but I love her because I can tell honest people when I see them. You know, she put her whole life on YouTube and that's cool. We did buy Brave Another State live and have 50K and all that. It's cool with me. She's doing something right and not to see her not on is like me not waking up and not seeing all my children, that type of stuff. But anyway, Katie and I are friends on Facebook. We're virtual friends. And if she ever needed anything, please believe me. I'll get in my Lexus while I get in. What it, I got three vehicles, y'all. Out there, diffusion, or the beer, and drive it and give whatever she needs. She's that type of person. But anyway, y'all, Um, I don't want to call people names, other content creators in the chat because, you know, I love Miss Miss Katie. I'll call her Miss Katie. She's great people, man. I think so. Everybody got a lot to say. Everybody got opinions. You know, we didn't talk about that. But, but she's good people to me. I like her. And yeah, I don't, and I ain't miss her because she's not on YouTube right now. But anyway, y'all, moving right along. We about to cook this breakfast, get this thing going, y'all, because I just sister girl was hungry. And yes, y'all, I got my hair up. I just washed it's in a ponytail, actually. And I got this cap on my head, which is call it moisturizing cap. And then I got it at the Dollar Tree. And it's silk. They was having this big old sale. I don't know. For some people, Dollar Trees, it's too cheap shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm Donald Trump money. It's everywhere. I love Dollar Tree. You're going to find the most coolest things. And I found this. And it, what it does, it helps your hair when you sleep. My hair is pretty long. And, you know, but anybody of any type of hair can use it. You put it on your head. And what it does, the heat and on the top of your head, it keeps your hair from waking up and being puffy like Phyllis Diller. You know what I mean? Let your hair lay down. It makes you feel cute when you get up. <laughs> really. And it's good for any type of hair. I don't care if you're male or female. We all got hair. Even bald people wear hats like this. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just laughing, y'all. I'm about to start cooking, y'all. Um, I'm actually cleaning this is casserole dish, trying to. I'm going to let it soak, but I'm hungry. We got to get to it. I'm, I'm hungry like a, a, a little puck going after a dog going right now. That's how hungry I am. But uh, first of all, we're going to get some coffee going. It's already pre-made. And for this cooking event this morning, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need some cheese and eggs, you know. Y'all not to cook a southern breakfast. Come on, y'all. That's what I'm about to cook some cheese and eggs, some bacon. Right now, I'm pouring up some coffee because I want to sit down and talk for a minute to people in the chat because I don't want to be rude. But when I start cooking, I'm going to be cooking. I'll make y'all so hungry that you're going to jump to the TV and be my guest, right? <laughs> I can cook, y'all. I can cook. And right now, I really didn't realize I already got caught in the microwave. Yeah. And for y'all ladies going through this stuff called premenopause, I'm sorry I ain't giving up my coffee. I'll take a night sweat, but I ain't giving up my cup of joe <laughs> for nobody. Coffee, you, I got to have my coffee, honey. And it's true. It's damn true. I'm one of the women that got to have their coffee. Don't My day ain't going to go right. Got to have that caffeine fix, y'all. But, y'all, I'm still setting up for this live. My breakfast is coffee. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But you know what, though, Regina? I'm going to cook on it. But I want to sit down and talk to y'all for a minute. Besides, our house is still cold. I need to go get that heater back there. Yeah, but I'm in the kitchen. I don't want to, you know, be sweating. <laughs> I hate sweating. I am going through this stuff called hot pockets. I don't know how young you are, Regina. I, I'm, I'm sure you're pretty young. But me, I'm at the point where any woman can get this. You could be 18 and get it because they say pre-menopause, when the woman's body is not producing enough eggs, you know, hot flashes, they can get it as soon as 18 years old. I told my daughter she jumped through the roof. I said, no, honey, it could start at any time. You know, it's like your body trying to get enough estrogen, you know, and it causes a lot of hot flashes. I tell you what, Regina, you're going to go through it one day. <laughs> but let me get this uh, laptop set up. And I want to sit down and talk to you for a minute, and then we're going to start cooking. Because you know what? I like to sit down and talk about what's going on, hoping that you have a happy Thursday. I want to get to know my people. I'm going to get a cigarette right now, honey. I'm coming. Oh, Lord, honey. I know you see that Christmas tree sitting over there. I got to decorate that, too, so... I guess when I want to take a break and look at some other people's YouTube channel, for you know, when you get tired of looking at me, I can do a part three of, you know, the life of a soldier. Because all of them will be like all day, you know, um, 
homework done. I just graduated from college with another degree. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because long Uncle Sam keep giving this retired service member money to go to school. Cheeseburger money, honey. I'm going to school. <laughs> I love school. I really do. There's some courses I cannot stand. College algebra, trigonometry. Damn, I pay somebody to do my homework. Really. I love math, but not like that. I ain't no Einstein. Like, I hate college algebra. It sucks. But anyway. Regina, and I wear glasses now, so let me see what's going on. I went to VA the other day. Yep, Veterans Affairs Office. I got on the scale, and three things my doctor told me. He said, Sergeant Major, you got a lot of shit going on with you. I said, what do you mean, sir? He scared me. I thought he was going to say I had cancer or something. He said, first of all, you're a 5'9". I weigh 145 pounds. Oh, God, I was about to jump out of my skin. He said, no, let me reweigh. Come to find out I weigh 153 pounds, honey. I'm fat as hell. I'm a cow. Move. I said, oh, my God, I got to go on a diet. So I called myself trying to go on a diet. And I went to the store, and uh, I got all my, my yogurt, all the good food to start my diet. Tomorrow, I'm about to cooking breakfast today. I'm going to cook me some breakfast. I'm going to eat me some bacon. Yeah, I'm Muslim. But I haven't had meat in so long, so I said, to the sausage and bacon, I'm going to try me some turkey bacon. So I got me some turkey bacon. That's what I'm cooking. And uh, grits and eggs and toast. But I'm having my coffee and talking to y'all first. Y'all know what I'm saying? Because, um, like you said, Regina, breakfast is coffee. I love to start my morning off with coffee. But I got to eat today, honey. <laughs> and then I'm going to start my diet up tomorrow. You know, running and all that. But anyway, I hope your Thursday is going well. And honey, it is cold out there. But anyway, Regina, um, I need another moderator. Can I make your mod? Will that be fine? I need another moderator, and you'll be the last one I'd make because I have uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, that five six channels out there, and this one, you know, it's my lay lay low channel. <laughs> you know, and I'm just being a good friend and cooking, let you know what's going on. In Carolina Diamond Productions, you know, I promote videos. I'm a moderator to a lot of great channels out there. And basically, I'm the woman behind the camera, you know. But I do love talking, you know, meeting people. I do this for networking. If I get monetized, hey, man, I don't worry about statistics, numbers, and all that. I like to watch other people and, you know, moderate. But I, you know, sometimes love to get behind the camera myself and have yeah, a casual chat and get to know people. You know, retired from the army, you know, we don't we're a jack of all trades, ain't gonna lie. No, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Lord knows how did I make it 30 some years. And I miss it, man. I really do. So I didn't when I was a little kid, I guess I might have been nine years old. I told my dad he was in the military as well. He rest his heaven to me. So and I said, I'm gonna be a soldier. He busts out laughing. <laughs> and every time that commercials come on, be all that you can be, cause we need you. In the army, I said, salute. Um, that's that's my passion, honey. I had the privilege of working with the honorable Colin Powell. Um, I had a picture up, I can you know DM it to you or put it on my next view or vlog when I'm standing side by side with the rest in peace, Mr. Colin Powell himself. When you go in the military and leave basic training, you got this thing called your first duty station. That's the first job you get after you go through your training. Of choice, you know, in the military. I was watching them get Fort Bliss, Texas, El Paso. And I walked in there, 4680 Air Defense Artillery. First thing I saw was two star general. Come here, soldier. My last name was Little <laughs> at the time. I'm divorced now. And that's why I got Roberson. But I'm Stacey Little, period, point blank. I just made, I came in as E5 because I had JRTC one year, ROTC. So I didn't want to become an officer. I wanted to be the backbone of the Army. And I chose to go enlisted, which is E1 to E9. Starts private and ultimately end as commander or the major. And after you get from E7, E8, E9, you call considered the top three. That's senior, senior non-commissioned officers. And what we do is train, drill sergeant, whatever you you know you want to do with your career, you do that. And I had the privilege of being self, even though a sergeant coming in on the same damn thing with private, you don't know shit when it comes when it comes to military defense. I mean, because but um. I had the privilege of working with Colin Powell. He was a general, two-star general back then. It was like eight, 1988 when I first went in. In 11th grade. And I came back home and I had my duty assignment. 
at Fort Bliss, Texas. And he was my boss and my retirement date. Um, he signed off on my orders to retire and he was there with me in National Defense University, which is in Washington, D.C. And uh, when he passed away from COVID-19, even taking out his second shot, I cried my ass off, man. I, I tell you, that man made my career a living hell, but if it wasn't for him, I could not be the person I am now. So if you ever see a soldier, honey, salute them, because they without them, we couldn't be in the land of the free, the home of the brave, you know? And I, we risk our lives with nothing, you know? We love this shit, what we do, just defend the United States Army against foreign domestics, and I was, I'm good at it. And I still wake up sometimes and wish I was still in uniform. I really do. I love doing what I do. But anyway, it ain't Veterans Day. But I want to say a special shout out to all soldiers out there because, you know, it ain't easy leaving your home and then you lose a lot of friends and you go overseas and you're away from your family during the holidays. That's a lonely time. God knows I've been that way. What does it mean when you get a false positive result from C-19? What do you think about the mixed messages on the new who? The new variant. Oh, 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 oh. What's it called? The, the Marion? I don't know. It starts with an O. I was listening to it. And um, I'll tell you right now, man, I tell people all the time, even my my mother, my mother figures, you know, guys, when my mom passed away in 1996. But uh, um, I tell anybody, please take the shot, man. Just take the shot. Take the shot. We are, when you're in the military, you become a, a guru to get shots. And we hate them things, but you know, who going to take the shot? Soldiers are, because we got deployed. We go over places where we see diseases and places that no, I wouldn't even send my worst enemy. You know, that's how hard it is being in the military um, when it comes to training. I'll tell anybody, please take the shot. A false positive test is, is when you first go in and they test you, but your test comes out positive, but something went wrong when you actually don't have COVID-19. I went to a doctor told me I had COVID-19. Come to find out I had the freaking flu. They gave me another test. It came out negative. They gave me two consecutive more tests, and it come out negative. So that's a false negative result, meaning I was exposed to it, but I don't have it. I done took three shots, and then I took my, my last one, which is a booster, because military say, we don't, you don't come and get stop, so I'm going to cut shit off. <laughs> the term check. I said, yeah, I'm coming. You know, but anyway, those are some things Uncle Sam can put on us when we retire in the military. You will take the shot or the cut of benefits. I mean, I think it sucks and get paid enough as is, but that is the answer to your question, Regina. And yeah, what do I think of it? My grandson had COVID-19 and my daughter had it. So that's why I had to go take a shot because I was feeling sick and I thought I had COVID-19. I wasn't scared of it because I already had my vaccination. They tell me if you get your whole series and you had it over a year, you have enough antibodies to fight the, uh, the uh, coronavirus. It won't make you sick or you won't die from it. Well, you know, that don't make me feel happy because my father died from COVID-19. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I say father, I mean my mother's dad. You know, he raised me, literally. But uh, Papa died COVID-19. Yeah, he did. And uh, he couldn't take a shot because he already had bad health. He had lung cancer from being some more or something like that and he passed away. And uh, he said to me, he said, girl, you better have a shot. He's don't you come in this room unless you get the shot. So that's why I tell anybody to take a shot because you know a lot of us lost a relative or had knew someone that COVID-19. And boy, I tell you, my brother Lamont got it. First thing I do is start crying because we already lost a couple of people from COVID-19. My cousin, Willie Little Rested, so he died on my birthday. And then mom, whole family died because of COVID-19, because they were scared to go get the shot. But uh I told anybody, if you ain't going to wait, if you're not going to take a shot and you're afraid of the shot, they got these pills out now. You can take it orally. And uh, it might not protect you from COVID-19, but if you ever get COVID-19, it'll stop you from getting really, really sick. So I think that's a great option for people out there who are scared of the shot because I'm going to tell you something. Everybody seems to think, get one thing. This is a new virus, and they're still studying it. You got to do what's best for you. But me, I decided to take the shot. And I protect myself all times from COVID-19. I even got my little handy dandy Clorox disinfectant. It don't cost but $4.99. You know what I, I found out too when I was cleaning my car? When you wipe your car down with it, it smells so good. So I keep those around. I wear my mask and I stay up with it. 
But anyway, honey, I'm gonna smoke me another cigarette. We're gonna get this breakfast going. Um, what are your plans for the holidays, Regina? You put your Christmas tree up yet? I'm working on mine. I just took it out the box. I went and did a, a family dollar haul and I needed a new Christmas tree. I wanted to uh, actually go outside. You know, I could show you what it looks like in the backwoods, which I will. I'll show you. Well, I'll just get to it and just tell you about it because it ain't nothing spectacular. Um, I was going to go out there in the back of my, my house and cut down a tree, but I thought about there's a no burn. Um, God, my English is, uh, my Spanish is better than my English, but I'm trying to think how to translate. Uh, my uh, there's a burn. Uh, what do you call it when you can't? There's a burn, burn, uh, <laughs> burn draft in effect here because it hasn't been raining since here since October. So it's against a lot of burn anything. So I said, well, I'm gonna go get a fake tree. I bought twenty five dollars at uh, Family Dollar for a six foot in fake lidded white Christmas tree. Lights is already included. And I'm about to put that up today. So sometime today when I'm live, I'll do all that. I know and have seen people that have died and became sick from COVID-19 and it continues to affect Regina. Um, the survivors still experience long-term effects, loss of smell, taste, and difficult breathing. My brother, Lamont, he can't taste anything. He has that and another thing. His arthritis is real bad and he got, uh, he's been diagnosed being PTSD because uh, uh, he was so scared that he's gonna, so, you know, he, have those effects from it. And then, you know, with the pandemic, a lot of people going through depression and all this other stuff. So I pray for everybody out there, honey, because you could be talking, we could be talking to each other now. And next thing you know, somebody, one has died from COVID-19 or, or something, you know, Colin Powell, my boss, I mean, he took both of his shots and he still died from it. Man, this, this pandemic ain't no joke, man, you know? So I pray for everybody, man. And we ain't got no time to be on, on here on YouTube acting like little kids cussing each other out and shit like that. Hell, you need to cuss somebody out today and go straight to hell tomorrow for cussing them out. But even with the pandemic, you know, you got to be careful about that. We all need to act like adults anyway. You know, you want to cuss somebody out, shoot, take them to the streets, cuss them out. But don't do this on YouTube. Man, can't we all just get along? <laughs> Man, I'm I was in somebody's chat yesterday. Somebody named, I'm going to say Sable. She might have been the Sable wrestler. These freakers on, the, on their panel cussing each other out. You were so and so this. You so and so that. I laughed so hard. I said, you know what? I would never cuss nobody out like that. Because I mean, you, you could be walking down the road and you might cuss a lot on YouTube. They come and find you. You know, you got to be careful what you say on YouTube. <laughs> Some of it's funny, but uh, I never wish wrong on nobody. Jesus. And what they was arguing about was stupid. About what somebody said about Bobby Sue. And you don't know anything about Bobby Sue. You just know him on YouTube. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's keep it 100 on YouTube. But some of that stuff is going to be real funny. <laughs> well, anyway, I always try to treat folks like they need to be treated. You know, that's the way I was raised. What's going on, Paprika? How you doing? Meet Regina. Oh, yeah, Regina. I. Need to give you your blue wrench. If you don't want it, babe, I'll take it back. But I need one more mod. Please. Thank you, ma'am. I thought you was one anyway. Regina, check out Paprika Asmir. I met her in two chat, two, two chat, two per chat, two per chats. Um uh live stream. She has a great channel. Um, I just went by it and uh, I think she has 127 beautiful people that has joined her channel. She got awesome content. Regina. Oh, that's my heater coming on. Um uh, I don't know if you uh, know if you have content or not, baby. I just see you everywhere. I think you do. I've been knowing I've seen you a while anyway. I don't go to everybody's. I got like 3,600 people I'm subscribed to. But Regina is cool people, though. I don't talk to her a time or two or seen her video. And I just meet her in a lot of people's chats. And she's good people, honey. So get to know each other. Yeah, but I'm going to cook some breakfast in a minute. Y'all just running my mouth. That's all. I got to do Christmas trees. I'm going to be live all day. Getting what? Well, um, yet yeah, rappers don't seem to be impacted by COVID nineteen. Really? They they still hooking up with Reynolds and having a baby from that one, and a baby over there, one with this one, etc. Nick can't have another child and one that I I heard that on uh, Good Morning America, man. That's sad. And rappers don't get COVID nineteen. Oh my God, that's a new. Well, I'm not a rapper. 
But uh, you know, it's a shame. It is. And uh, I was watching wrestling. I love wrestling, WWE, that type of stuff. And I was looking at um, a young wrestler that died from COVID nineteen. Man, I don't know about nobody else, but I can take something to save my life. I would. I know the pain is better than dying. Lord have mercy. But you can't tell people what to do. You know, they they start right to do with their body. But a lot of people, you know, say, even though it may be their body, they don't want to take the shot. But this is my world. Meaning that if you don't take COVID-19, why get around somebody without a mask on? You messing with their lives, their family lives. And I think it should make it mandatory. Everybody should get the shot. That's just me. But that's just my opinion. So, but I pray for those. That you know that you know God protect them from the COVID nineteen because that is not a joke. Hi, uh, Gwenda Bennett. How you doing, darling? Vast dot vast dot tech, honey. I don't know what that means, but good morning to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm about to get my booty up and cook some breakfast, y'all. Like the icon say, I had to cook a southern breakfast. Well, I'm just shooting, the job, just talking right now. That's all. And you know, pretty much, I'm gonna be live all day. I'm Miss Katie Roby, man. I don't know if y'all know Miss. Miss Miss Wonderful. Um, she had 50, 50k. I don't see her channel right now, so I'm missing her. A lot of people saying that she got a channel straight, but people don't know you can hide your channel if you want to and just take a break from it all, but you still come back and unblock, un uh, un uh, make it public again, and back on. Very easy. And yes, I'm a computer engineer, tired U.S. Army, so I know something about that. So only God knows what's going on. But I think it's bad to go to somebody's channel with over 50k. I would never try to take anybody down anyway, because people gonna do what do. This is only a computer, honey. You know, we got a right to see what you want to see. I believe in, you know, practicing free freedom of speech and saying what you want to say. You know, you grown hell. We all grown. But uh, I try to watch what I say because you know somebody little kid might be on here, so I try not to say the wrong things while I try to make adult content when I need to see my people because you make a child content. All I get is thumbs up. And I want y'all to tell me how I'm doing. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know they don't got rid of that dislike button. I went to YouTube school the other night. I put a video up about it. And I started to watch every YouTube, even about the algorithm. Um uh grand. I I'm just I just know YouTube and they always change it. They always change it. So um, but people don't know that a, a troll can go report you and they'll take your fucking channel, excuse me, take a freaking channel away just like that. You know, and people are hard on their channels, man. I know uh, this one individual, she's been on YouTube probably since the day they started. Mm. We all had channel strikes. You know, you get one week, two weeks. I don't have, I'm, matter of fact, I think I'm one of the top ones to get channel strikes all the time. Because when I first started, I mean, I was doing anything I wanted to do, getting drunk, cuss people out. You know, I said, oh, Lord. One day my grandson might turn his TV on, see grandma cussing. No, nah, not cussing, mama. I said, hold up now. I don't want to put people out think I'm a drunk, crazy person cussing everybody out. But the reason why I cuss people out is because they come and be disrespect people I know in my chat or disrespect me. Because I know I went live, me and um, one of my other moderators. I, I don't know if you met him or you know him. I know uh, Regina, you might do. And that was uh, Abandoned Boys, Corey. Um, that, uh, who was it? Who was I? Was in there? Uh, uh, Vernon's Junkyard and all my friends, you know, with people 1,000 plus subscribers. And you say you can't say subscribe in the chat. Why not? I mean, somebody put out there and believe it. But long story short, man, somebody, I don't know the color. They can't make type N-I-G-G-E-R. I mean, boom. I was so heated, but I kept it together. I was like, man, that's all you're going to call me? Come on with it. You know? I'm over them words. <laughs> if any black person or fit fit because somebody called my nigga, God dang it. Man, we've been called that shit for over 400 years. Come up with something better. Come on, man. Can't we all just get a lump size? I'm black and tag and partially white. <laughs> I'm not racist. I just hate dumbasses. How about that? We ain't got to be rude nowadays. Come on. There's too much violence out here. People dying, man. Shoot. We need to show the world love. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. I try to keep drama free. But, Gwenda, how's the weather there, Regina? How's the weather where you are? I got one person building two thumbs up. Thank you so much. <laughs> Regina got me laughing, honey. Mm. 
Can y'all believe one of my New Year's resolutions is this? I'm going to quit smoking. I can do it, y'all. If I can quit drinking so much, good Lord, I could definitely quit smoking. I am hungry, honey. I am so hungry. <laughs> but one thing about coffee, it suppresses your hunger. And so you could stretch it out a little bit lo longer, but I know I got to eat, honey. I'm supposed to start my diet, my fat ass. I went to the VA, man. Oh, Lord, I'm about 5'9". And I weigh 153 pounds. Oh, Jesus. My doctor said, don't worry about it. Pandemic. I said, shit. <laughs> I ain't worried about it. I ain't never been on the 53 pounds. But you know, I blame it on myself. Sitting around eating and lunging and not exercising, you know, been going to school, just graduated with another college degree. Hell, I've been doing life <laughs> eating ice cream. So I gained about mm, 20 pounds. Yeah, normally I'd be like 120, but, you know, I'm not in the military anymore. But I would like to stay at that weight because I like to play basketball too. So, yeah, but in the day I'm going to eat, y'all. I'm going to cook me some cheese and eggs and some grits. And I just cleaned up. I sat down and smoked a cigarette, but I'm going to get to it in a minute, y'all, because that's what this video is all about. Cooking a great southern breakfast. But, you know, I like to talk to my people before I get started. Because once I start cooking, ladies, you know how we are in the kitchen. We talk as we go. <laughs> but anyway, it's 30 degrees here in North Carolina, man. I'm in Charlotte. And it's supposed to get up to 50 or something like that. See, our weather been crazy down here. And my grandma used to call it new morning. It's been like one minute. Yesterday was summer, today it's winter, and tomorrow is going to be springtime. Who knows what the fall is going to kick in right in North Carolina. Man, your pores be open up when you get cold, and then you catch cold and all that stuff. So that's why I mean, I'm trying to let the house warm up to go. It's cold in here. You know, I got a three-bedroom three house, and it takes a while to warm up. So I'm sitting rubbing my, my, my knees and my legs because I have arthritis from jumping out of airplanes too much in the Army. Excuse me. Besides, so I like to have my morning coffee and sit down and talk to you. I know as you change your name, what would you like to be called? Oh, wow. My name is Stacy, Stacy Little, and my name is Carolina Diamond Production. It's just the, the logo, you know, because I didn't, I'm a variety channel. I cook one minute. I could be exploring the next day. I could be gaming. So, you know, I just give people my life, <laughs> but not as much of my life. But, you know, I come in and do what I need to do. And, you know, I like to meet people. I'm not doing this for the money. God knows I'm not. I'm just doing to meet great friends and, you know, show a little bit of my time with you. You know, we get to know each other. You know, if I get monetized, hey, man, who don't want to get paid for on YouTube? But if I don't, I have the best thing ever, great friends, you know. That's how I see it. Man, oh, my God, y'all. I miss the country music. Award. And I know you probably like, she listens to country music. Hell, yeah. <laughs> I've got Randy Travis up the road for me in Marshfield, North Carolina. Down here, where I live in the boonies of North Carolina. Where you want the state line, South Carolina. You jump out. Matter of fact, if I walk out my door and go across the road, I'm in South Carolina. Come back over here. I'm in North Carolina. <laughs> state line. But, uh, yeah. Down here, it's boonies. I, you know what? <laughs> First thing I wake up in the morning, I open my, my back door. I see nothing but critters. <laughs> when I mean critters, my the stop sign shouldn't say stop. It say whoa. That's how country it is around here, you know. <laughs> and I love it's peaceful, you know. But I have nobody in here, y'all. I know y'all come to see me cooking. I'm running my mouth. I promise you, I'm gonna be live all day. So y'all gonna get used to me today. I thank y'all so much for being here, Regina and uh, Gwenda. I know you got, oh, now I see two. So YouTube is tripping. It said none, then it got two. So, I mean, I don't, those numbers, YouTube, you know, they be messing up sometimes. You know, YouTube is always say about YouTube. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, y'all, I'm going to finish smoking this with a cigarette. I'm going to try not to smoke at least two or three hours because I'm trying to quit, really. You know, they say you can do all things that cause Jesus to strengthen you. You can I'm going to enjoy this cigarette, y'all, for real. I'm just trying to figure out what am I going to do all day. It's cold outside, and it's supposed to warm up. I don't think it's not going to warm up by much. It's probably like 45, 50 today. And I need to put up my tree. So I'll be doing different lives today. Christmas tree, do it yourself. Hey, use it for yourself. You know, I'm just coming, planning my next videos and how I can edit and make things better. Because I'm doing a whole lot of changes to my channel, man. I... 
I thought about changing my name again, but you know, people know me as Carolina Diamond, or some people call me Dime or call me Stacy. My name is Stacy Lee Little. That's who I am. But um, I used to be married to a Roberson. It was another service member, and you know, we raised two beautiful daughters together, and then you know, army pulls you apart sometimes, and but you realize you're better friends when you are apart, and he has another girlfriend, that's cool, you know. We were friends until the end. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to get up and cook, y'all. Right now, I'm hungry. So let's get this going. How to cook a southern breakfast. Y'all can still see the chat, but I'm going to take y'all to the kitchen. I just got to wash some dishes. And for this breakfast, you're going to need some eggs. You're going to need some cheese. You're going to need some grits. You're going to need some bread because I'm going to make some toast. And for the panel, the uh, poll going on, I put up and pinned it up there. What is Carolina Diamond cooking today? Option eight, cheese and eggs, bacon, and grits, or all of the above. Let's try all of the above. I'm hungry, y'all. What I'm doing now is I'm plugging my um, laptop, because normally I have my tripod and my camera when I go live, y'all. Yep, y'all going to get this cooking thing going on. Hope you guys are having a blessed Thursday morning. I know I am. God is good all the time. He woke me up this morning. I'd like to say thank you to him, the creator. Without him, Lord, what would be? And I don't want to be dead. So thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. It's cold outside, y'all. And this laptop behind the coffee pot. I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is put it around my um, canisters. I've got my sugar, you know, sugar canister, your flour, whatever is in your kitchen. I'm going to slide this over so you guys can see me burn. Not burn as making my food burn up, but show y'all to cook. Yeah. We all can make breakfast. If not, you're going to learn today. So, y'all, I already done washed my dishes. I have. And these are reading glasses that the VA, VA, the Veteran Affairs Office that we retire service members or service member go to. And since I did over 30 years, I got to go get an annual checkup yearly. But my one to see if I'm still, if we go to war, would it call Sergeant me? But of course it will because I'm not 60. But uh, I had to get an exam and come to find out that I need reading glasses. And other than that, I have high cholesterol, y'all. That's what got my soul shit, man. I need to go on a diet. But anyway, let's get this thing popping, y'all. The first thing I'm going to do. Sorry about that, y'all. No, I'm going to prepare for all these things. Um, I already set up. But today, Stacey ain't prepared for anything. We're just going to wing it. But put me some water in this uh, saucepan. I'm just cooking breakfast for me. So about, I'll say about four cups of water. I'm going to put this on right here. And... Turn my stove on six, which is a medium high. Get my butter out, y'all. We're gonna burn today. Can't talk. Have a good time. Adult style. Yep. And first thing I'm gonna do now is get me some butter. You can get any kind of butter, but I did a pickle wiggle haul to get the things I need for breakfast. And this is Imperial and it's a uh, crown with quality. And yes, I'm looking on the back at the fat. That's what? I ain't starting my diet tomorrow. We're going to eat today, honey. So what I'm going to do is cut about two tablespoons and put it in my grits because I love butter and my grits. Some people like, you know, that my daughter say, you need to stay away from butter and fat and work out every day for 30 minutes. Of course, I need to, y'all. Good health. Exercise is good for the soul. I say, but a lot of people don't want to work out. And I understand that. Let me... I love working out. I just hadn't done it in a while. My ass is fat right now. <laughs> I got too much junk in the trunk. <laughs> but anyway, it's the holidays. So I'm going to cook me something to eat today, and I'll probably start, you know, my diet tomorrow. I don't know why I'm trying to go on a diet around the holidays, because I'm a good will. I'm going to get me some sweet potato pie up come Christmas. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, everybody tired of breakfast. And guys, the best part of the day is breakfast. I love cook breakfast anytime, though. I just like cooking. And right now, I'm going to cook some grits, y'all. I put two tablespoons of butter in there, put my ingredients away. I'm going to bring y'all close in a minute. But uh, I got to throw this in the trash. And honey, my house is a mess. I got to clean up today, put the Christmas tree. Got to study, but really, my day is going to be boring. It's too cold to go out. So I said, why not spend time on YouTube, chit chat, you know? So, the next thing I'm going to do now is get this cup. Dollar haul, y'all. Dollar tree. One dollar. But me, I'm going to put a, about 
two eggs in it. And I'm gonna make some cheese and eggs. So what I'm gonna do, I want Piggly Wiggly got these dog, these big old eggs. I'm gonna sell for dollar ninety nine. Y'all can cost a living in North Carolina is real cheap compared to other states. So I got these eggs. I'm gonna put two eggs in here. And a lot of people like to put the eggs in the carton. I just don't do that. I like to crack them and throw them in the trash can because that yep, that uh what uh egg white gets so sticky. So I'm putting two cups of eggs in here, throwing this away. And y'all, y'all ladies, I know y'all not cook very well, but I'm telling you something, when you're cooking, cooking, the best type of spatula, I love, my grandmama gave me this, God, I love her, she must be looking down, Lord, the child is finally cooked, instead of running McDonald's, yeah, I love McDonald's, but some ain't, you know, if you can cook, get you one of these, cast iron, baby, yes, that's gonna be for the bacon, but for my cheese and eggs, I'm gonna use a, um, I got these from Walmart. I love these uh, spatulas. They are non-stick spatulas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But guess what? I'm going to put some butter in the day. I'm having them so long. I think the non-stick done wore off. <laughs> so, next thing I'm going to get for the cheese and eggs. And I'm going to get the butter back out, y'all, for my cheese and eggs. I'm going to get the bacon out. So, but there's a pole up that says it stays gone. Carolina Dime gonna cook some cheese and eggs, get some bacon, or nothing. The answer is all of the above, except nothing. <laughs> and I'm gonna get my cheese out. Here we go, y'all. Now, I had placed two eggs over there already, and I'm gonna, I love washing my pork. I don't care if nobody say wash meat, y'all. They say you ain't supposed to, but I wash mine. Because they wash something that fat off, and plus, you know, you don't know what the hand has been on the meat, and you just wanna wash all that. Just wash the meat. But I'm going to put about a half a cup of milk in my eggs. Probably not even milk, but more than a third of a cup. And put it back up. Oh, wow. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. And what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to take a fork. And I'm going to stir it up. And guys, I, I know she's putting it, milk in her eggs. You don't know that milk make them eggs pop, baby. They really do. Y'all girl, y'all girls, y'all know how to cook. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I got one person to build a two thumbs up. And yes, I see the chat. Get those grits and turkey bacon with them toes going. Yes, baby. You know it. Yes, 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 Regina. All right. Since I got that mix, I'm going to sit this to the side. Okay. So I sit that over here. Of course, you're not allowed to keep the kitchen clean. But okay, now I'm looking for my knife. I got. My nice stand over here, guys. If you can see it from the stove. No, I have my tripod up when I'm clicking. But it doesn't, I ain't gonna do all that. I'm just gonna use the trusted laptop. And so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and put the iron cast on to get it preheat, probably like a six. My water is boiling for my grits with my uh, butter in it. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch these out because I got cheese and eggs. They're gonna cook first. Put that back there because that's already hot enough and turn this to a very, very medium, a medium, just straight medium. Then I'm going to take my turkey bacon, which is by Smithfield, very healthy. And they also make, you know, bacon from the hog. But me, I like turkey bacon because I don't do too much pork. Fat. It's just me. I don't like meat like that. But... Everybody else in my family does. They like bacon. I love turkey bacon. So I'm going to take about two pieces like so. They're pretty long. You cut. I'm going to cut these in half because I'm going to just cook it for me. So you know, everybody, ain't nobody here today. Just me. Even my dogs are going to the groomers. And, uh, and it's just me. So I ain't got nothing to do, so I'm chilling. First thing I'm going to do is wash my meat. Yep. And I'm not putting it in... My regular dishwasher, I'm on the side over here to the empty uh the empty sink. Then I'm gonna take my knife, cut it in half. And now I got four pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my spatch iron cast small spatula that my grandmama gave me. Oh Lord, honey, you can't you can't cook unless you get one of these. What it does is savor all the flavor. So I'm gonna put them all down there and I'm gonna turn. The cast iron up to a high, medium high of seven. Then what I'm going to do next is go ahead and 
Give me another fork. So stir up the grits and water. And another thing I like to do to my um, grits is this. A lot of people don't do it, it's just me. I add milk to my grits. It makes the your um, grits nice and smooth instead of lumpy, you know? You have a lot of people out there saying they can cook, but a lot of people don't know how to cook grits. Absolutely they don't. Either it's too sticky or they got to go get a rice maker. Well, all you got to really do is stir it up and put a little bit of milk in it. It makes everything perfect. So that's how I love milk anyway. I'm going to put about a half a cup of milk in it. Put that away. Y'all, you know, everything else is self-explanatory. Y'all know how to cook breakfast. <laughs> if don't, you're going to learn today. Now, I'm going to take uh, two tablespoons. You guys don't know how to measure a tablespoon. A lot of people don't know this. I'm going to show it to you. See, these little lines, they represent these little spaces. One tablespoon. So I say two tablespoons. I'm going to cut not that right, right here. Two tablespoons. A lot of people didn't know that. <laughs> I'm serious. You, it, it would surprise you how many people don't know how to get two tablespoons of butter. <laughs> I didn't know it for a long time since my mother told me. I must have been 18 years old. But anyway, a lot of people don't like to use butter, but I do. Most of the time when I'm cooking healthy, I use bread, uh, olive oil. But today, no. So I'm let that go for a while. And while that's doing that, normally I would do an omelet, but today I don't feel like cutting up all those onions and bell peppers. So I'm just going to take a little bit of butter. Go around my non-stick spatula I got from Walmart, guys. You want some good, reliable dishware for your kitchen? Man, go to Walmart. I love Walmart. Besides, you save money that way. But anyway, I'll take the butter, grease it up just right now. When you cook the cheese eggs, you ain't got to have a whole lot of butter. So instead of me actually using all that butter, what I'm going to do now is tip this over to my grits next. No, sorry, not grits next, but grits. Stir it up. Get ready for the cup of grits, y'all. Any grits will do. My favorite kind is, of course, Jim Dandy. Putting this in in here, and I'm going to let it cook in my bacon. My turkey bacon smells so good. Uh, that's enough. Grits are one, and then if I don't eat the rest, I'll give it to my dogs. Of course, I put, you know, some turkey, put some uh, uh, dog food in and stir it. I put an egg or two and that's their milk. Because, you know, I believe in treating your dog. If you if you can eat it, if you can eat it, on things like chocolate, I won't give my dog chocolate. They say it kills my love that much. But if I eat it from my table, then they eat it from me too. I put nothing. I wouldn't give my dogs nothing. I wouldn't eat. How about that? I need no dog food, but you know what I'm saying. Long story short. The bacon is looking just fine. Now with that, I'm going to take my eggs that I just stirred with milk and go ahead and gently pour it in there. Like so. A lot of people don't know you ain't got to keep scrambling eggs. You let it form, have a foundation, a base. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to cut about, I don't know, about three uh, small cuts of sharp cheddar cheese. And it's going to go in my eggs. That's why we call it cheese and eggs. I love cheese, y'all. I'm going to cook me about three today. I'm hungry. <laughs> so, not trying to be greedy, but today I'm going to enjoy my breakfast my way. I'm going to my diet tomorrow. I'm looking outside. It might be, it's cold out there. That sun is showing is pretty. So, I'm going to place three of those right there in front of my cheese and eggs. And I'm going to place all the content back in the refrigerator, the eggs, the cheese. I like to keep the kids clean, y'all. Yes. But anyway. Proceeded, man, that breakfast is slamming, honey. I ain't even done yet. <laughs> That's how hungry I am. But I'm going to stir my grits. Yeah, go ahead and add my salt and pepper to the grits. And y'all, I tell everybody, don't be a person to season your food. I might put too much salt in. Well, guess what? You put too much salt, add a little bit more water to it. Never be afraid to try anything in the kitchen because you might come up with the perfect recipe to something. That makes Chef Bardi come find you and give you some cheeseburger money, honey. <laughs> That's just my crazy joke. And uh, I just put a little bit there. Not, I don't like too much salt, yo. I really don't. But you got people in my family that got to have salt every time. 
me, not for me. Then I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of black pepper. Y'all got all these spices over here. And I tell you one thing, my, my daughter's coming here, boy, they have things everywhere. You're looking for the black pepper, here it is. You know, they never put things back. But, you know, they're my daughters. So I'll go ahead and put a little bit of black pepper over it, like so. Not too much, just enough. And, uh, and everybody's gone. I'm the only one home today. Lord have mercy. It's also quiet. I can hear a pin drop. Finally. <laughs> so why I got my bacon and the skillet going, smelling good. The grits going good. My grits, I'm going to turn them down on a medium low. Medium low, about four or five. Stir them up again. And then the next thing I'm going to do is cover it up the top because you don't watch the grits, grits start popping and rip. We don't want that to happen. And y'all didn't know why this going, I'm going to sit down and talk to you for a while while the food is going. Put so my lid back on my, my grits and my bacon. I'm just going to let it do what it do. I'm going to flip them one time, y'all. Some people like their bacon medium rare, rare, well done. Me, I love when it turns gold and, you know, cold and brown. And that's going to take about 15 minutes. So I kind of should have cooked my cheese and eggs later, but at least they'd be out of the way. Oh, that one smells good. I'm going to let y'all see in a minute, y'all. And I'm, my cheese and eggs, I'm going to slow them down a little bit. Because I don't want them to cook before my bacon gets done. Now, this time I learned in culinary school, you know. <laughs> when I saw that norm, I didn't go in as a computer engineer. I went as a supply logistics supply sergeant. And when I made the rank of sergeant first class, which is E7, I became uh, a dining uh a, a, what do you call it when you cook for everybody the child we call it child is actually a place that you know feed the troops i learned how to run a dining facility and the first thing they taught me was sent me to fort jackson to learn how to cook and me having that rank outside not just cook i went to culinary school so i enjoy cooking as uncle sam was sending me for free why not go to school and i got my degree in columbus south columbus uh columbia south carolina 1990 no excuse me 2000 I'm flipping them eggs, y'all. I'm turning down on three or four. Turn my bacon up to uh, seven and eight and turn my grits on four. Now, where that's going, I can actually my type of cheese eggs a little lower. Yeah, a little lower because I want them to take their time and uh, cook. And I'm going to show y'all what's going on over here so y'all can see. Now, this pot here is nothing in it. I actually washed it. Um, and I'm going to put it back in there because I had to let it side it on the heater. I have to, you know, the stove because I had uh, cooked some spaghetti last night and I wanted to make sure, you know, I put a little Clorox in there so it's easy to clean. I did that part and I'm putting it back in there so I can wash it again. But this is what's going on, y'all. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. And I'm going to sit down and talk to you while it's going on. So y'all can see what's going on. You got the cheese and eggs. Ooh, don't it look good? Bacon one just fine. So guess what? I think I'm going to put a lid over that because when that grease start popping, you don't want no get popped by no grease. And then I can sit down and talk to y'all for a little while. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to put this back on so my battery doesn't die. You guys can see the final product. We eat a virtual breakfast together if y'all want to. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of that. My eggs are coming on just fine. She's an egg smells so good. So smells so good. You want to slap your mom. I'll tell you one thing. I want to slap my mom because she would not bother me. Mama Dukes don't play nothing. <laughs> Woo! I think mom is the meanest woman in the world. She wanted to do nothing. But you know what? I was hard here. I used to get my butt whooped all the time. But um, for this, I'm going to go ahead and cover it up with uh, a, a plate like this because the lid my grandmama gave me, I lost it. When we call it PCS move, that means a permanent change of me. I'm in the army and I'm, they moved me somewhere else to work from another state, even overseas. So, it's, and I lost, and when they came and got my stuff to ship it off for me, they lost my lid to this small space. So, it don't matter. So, but we know what. Use what you got. I better turn that down some, guys, because that bacon, you know, bacon cooks real fast, especially when you put the lid on. It seals in the flavor, seals in the heat. It doesn't take so long. So, guys, I'm going to enjoy some coffee and talk to y'all for a while over here so I can read the chat. Bandit Boys Gaming, yeah, we cooking right now, baby. And I hope you got you some breakfast, because like Corey says, 
Don't miss breakfast. The best thing, best thing in the morning. Salute. Abandoned Boys, y'all in the building. Abandoned Boys, exceptional YouTube content creator. He is one of my mentors. Y'all, let me turn this down a little bit so I can sit down and read the chat. He has uh, another channel called FML Films. And boy, them boys, they own that stuff. Y'all hear me? They be filming. And Corey, he should have been a comedian because he is funny. Corey, go ahead and drop a link to your um, channel so they can have it. Abandoned Boys, oh my God, he is an exception. He, if you see Abandoned Boys anywhere, people tell you he's the most sweetest person in the world. And he's a great teacher too, guys. He taught me how to do the big foot explore. And I got a lot of emails to make another one. But Corey Bradford showed me how to be an explorer that day. And the video went very well. It was funny. But everything I was taught about YouTube pretty much came from Abandoned Boys. So big shout out to Big Bro. You know what I'm saying? Besides, he can't play no ball anyway. Yes, he can. He's good people. And he got FML Films, boy. I tell you. You would love, and that's why I miss Corey going live in the morning. When you go there, you're going to make it laugh, honey. That's my big brother. I love him to death. He's good people, too. And his mom got, his sister got a cooking channel as well. And I'm a, I su subscribe to her channel. She's good people. The whole family is sweet. I love his mama. She's sweet, too. But, y'all, I think breakfast about ready. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and bring you back over here because the food cooks real quick. Thank you for dropping your link, Abandoned Boy. So, y'all, please go, to Corey, check him out. Check him out. He is now gaming, doing his passion. But this boy, this young man is a jack of all trades. And uh, and that's just the way he is. He's he's an exceptional YouTube content creator. And I tell you, you go to Corey's chat, you you don't want to come out of there. You hate because he got to go to work. He's just that damn good. But anyway, getting back to breakfast, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and give me a plate because y'all remember Sorry about that, y'all. And I'm looking at the cheese and eggs. They ready. Yes, yes. I'm going to let y'all see all this, boy. Get uh, Before I start eating, honey. That puts me a dog on good, y'all. But my grits ain't caught up yet, so I'm going to turn it up a little bit longer. And I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, grit, uh, the bacon up because I think it's about ready. And y'all, I got a phone call. I got to say because I believe that is. Hold on. Y'all be right back. Y'all go ahead and drop links, get to know each other. Hello. Hello. Well, y'all call back later. Um, anyway, um, I'm going ahead and get the bacon up. Oh yeah. He's ready. Gotta get the paper towel because you know you don't want that extra turkey bacon grease to uh Go in your plates and definitely it'll drain some of that oil so you can continue your healthy cooking. But anyway, y'all, I'm pulling up the bacon now. It's about time to eat, y'all. Them grits get you. I'm gonna let y'all see this beautiful southern baked turkey bacon. Oh god, now you stuck on me. Y'all can see it. Hold up. Mm -mm. Boy, I tell you, look at that. Oh, yes, making you hungry. Hungry, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, y'all. And I go ahead and take the towel, drain the excess oil off. I guess it's my own little Stacy Foreman cooking to get all that oil out, right? <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and set it to side. And plus, it keeps your plate nice and clean. Don't worry about all that grease getting in your water. Putting that to the side there. I'm gonna start these beautiful cheese and eggs. Y'all gonna see this right here. I'm gonna show you this sister girl right here. The burn, baby. Oh, yeah. So this is going on with the cheese and eggs. I'm going to bring it to you. So you see it. Boy, look at them cheese and eggs. Y'all see that? Mmm-mm. Smell good, don't it? But, y'all, this is what I like to do to my cheese and eggs. Oh, y'all, I am looking for put a little bit of parsley. And besides the reason I love parsley so much. It's good for you, and it also give your food color, and it makes it pretty, you know, pretty. Now I'm a woman. I got to make my food pretty. Look at that. Mmm, smell good. Ain't that look pretty green? Just bring out that yellow background, you know what I mean? I'll go ahead and take the cheese and eggs and place it there to get some of that extra butter out of my cheese and eggs. Just a couple of things you can do in the kitchen to cut back on 
your calorie and also get your cholesterol level down. You got high cholesterol like me that I found out when I went to Veterans Affairs yesterday. I said, oh, my God. But anyway, the grits come and lie along. And me, I like to keep my kitchen clean, so I'm put it all to the side over here. All right. In the dishwasher. Waiting on them grits, y'all. So I'm going to sit down for a little while with y'all. Let some grits get there. But in the meantime, I got my cheese, eggs, and turkey bacon right here. So I'm going to put my fork there because I get tired of washing dishes all the time. <laughs> But you got to keep the house clean because I can't stand the dirt outside. Oh, my biggest pet peeve. But at the same time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put cut the stove off, first of all, the back out, because I'm going to wash that spatula later. But right now, until my grits get done, I'm going to sit right there and give my eggs about four or five minutes. I'm going to sit down and read the chat, and then we're going to do some breakfast. How about that? Put the parsley back up. I love parsley. I love parsley so I can read the chat. See who is visiting me. Because y'all took your time out to come over here to Carolina Diamonds Corner. And I want to know my people, right? Let's be friends. Why can't we be friends? Y'all remember that song? Why can't we be friends? Y'all know I can't sing, but you know what? Make a joyful noise. I don't care how terrible the sound. If you can't sing, can't sing. But enjoy it. Work it in. <laughs> y'all, I'm chilling. I'm just cutting up a little bit. But uh, we're going to sit down and talk and... Y'all know I got my some coffee going on, and we're going to eat in a few minutes. And I'm going to let y'all busy people go and look up on another YouTube title for today. But I'm going to sit down for a minute, get my coffee. And guess, guys, what? I quit drinking alcohol. Yeah, man, I had to cut back. I realized, man, I'm not a good person when I drink, so I had to cut liquor. I'm the type of person that can't drink liquor anyway. I said, no more. So I drink an occasional glass of wine, but I had to cut back. Because I don't like the way I was treating people, you know. You give me liquor, I'm ready to cuss. <laughs> oh Lord! And then I'll, I'm the sorriest, worst drunk in the world, man. If I tell you what, I went out with my sister, Keisha, my Keisha Little. We went out to a party and went to the club. Of course, you know we love to dance, you know, twerking it, you know, twerking it out, dropping to the floor, dropping like a hot. And she went and got me a shot of a Hennessy and Coke. Yeah, I've been dancing, been drink, you know what I'm saying? And trying to get my diva on. Y'all excuse the background. And man, I hooked me a drunk looking boy. I was all over the floor. Man, I got so drunk the room started spinning. Next thing I know, my sister that drove me home, popped me in the house, and drove off. And I was drunk off a shot of liquor and coke. And y'all know to go to the club, they're gonna put more soda and alcohol in it. Thumbs down when it comes to drinking. And I have the worst hangover ever. But my sister, she can she, she big dog, man. She's a big dog. She can drink absolute a half of a half a paint by herself. And and, and walk around like she ain't she she, she ain't drunk. But anyway, y'all, I'm worse drunk. So nowadays I'm drinking a little coffee, working it out. A band of boys, honey. Hello, darling. And you, you, my friend, you was working around the track. I said, look at the band of boys. I don't know. You, you had your cameraman out there and you was running. It's like, oh hell. He gonna die. My fat ass gonna die too. Cause, bro, you know I went to the VA office and did my tenth year anniversary checkup. Cause you know, guys, I retired with thirty years. Hold on, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. And I'm a, while I'm doing that, y'all, I'm gonna show you what I'm about to do. Bring y'all with me, man. We're gonna sit down and talk. My grits is going good, y'all. So I'm about to put my toast in to the toaster. I don't like my toast to get too brown, just golden brown. So what I'm gonna do is take. Two pieces of bread, any kind of bread. Do y'all? I went to Family Dollar and it was on sale for a dollar. <laughs> and fresh bread every day. Don't forget, I'm in the country, y'all. Charlotte, not Kaki Lacky. <laughs> but uh, go ahead and put the bread back up because by the time that toast gets done, then, then I can eat. But right now, I'm going to socialize with you and read the chat. Let me check on these grits so I can sit down. But the one thing I need to stop doing, guys, is smoke a cigarette. So, I'm working on it. My quit did. I already quit one time before, but you know, when my daughter got sick with COVID 19, my grandson, and I started stressing and I went and bought me a pack of Newports, honey. And now I'm smoking again. But I told myself I could do all things that Christ Jesus is strengthening me. I'm bigger than this cigarette. And um, this is going to be my last pack. But hell, cigarette so high, $8 a pack of Newports. Now, that's extremely high in North Carolina. I know if I go to Chicago or other places, of course, you know, more population, the prices are up. But 
that's one habit I can quit, y'all. You know, I don't want to. I don't need to smoke cigarettes. I don't. I ain't not knocking anybody with smoke, but me, I can quit that. If I can quit drinking, I can quit smoking. Now, that's the hard thing to do. But anyway, anyway, like my daddy said, if you don't need it, if it hurts the body, you need to quit it. And smoking is not good for anybody. So this is gonna be my last pack, and I just bought them. Not about we're not buying cigarettes. Um, I want to say two days ago, I used to smoke a whole pack by myself in one day when I was in the military. But anyway, um, my band of boys has dropped this link, and uh, look for my freaking glasses, y'all. And he said, "Appreciate you, and I definitely appreciate you, bro, because you know you taught me a lot." Salutes to him, y'all guys. Please check out his uh, channel. I don't know if this is. He's now gaming, but you know Brandon Boy. He's the most creative person person I know. He might come in with Sergio, or then he might come out with the what do you call it? I'm sorry, y'all, my stove was going off. Um, what do you call it when you had the the Black Ninja boy? He is the, he had a chat so funny. I mean, I wish you kept kept going on and on. He, if anybody should be an actor, it should be him. And he, he might might a straight straight hand. This guy is going to go up into uh, space in the next two days. He's on Good Morning America. He remind me of Corey. Corey, without the gap, Corey is sexy. Michael Strahan is sexy. Football player. Woo! I'm telling you, ladies, y'all want somebody, and you got to be, you want, if I, I'm telling you, if I knew a band of boys, I was close. Lord knows I try to date him. But he's married to his camera. He's single, y'all, and I guess he's going to find the right guy. Gonna, he, he's waiting on the right one. You know, a real man knows a real woman. I'm telling y'all, he is a gentleman. And I'm proud to know him. He's good people, honey. Oh, Lord. If you want to have a church, good, faring man, and you a good church, faring woman, a band of boys. Oh, man. He's he's sexy. She call him uh, Corey Too Hottie. <laughs> sexy boy. Well, anyway, y'all, get back to this breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and load me a plate because I am so hungry. And the toast is ready. ready definitely ready. And me, y'all, I eat like a little bird, but I got to eat. So, but I probably have company later on, you know, probably within an hour or so. So I don't try to eat all, everything I cook. If I cook for me, I'm going to cook for somebody else. Because, you know, one thing I like to cook when, when I get guests, I'm like, is you hungry? I got something to eat. And they be like, yeah, let, let me let me get some of that food. Because everybody right here know I can cook, you know. Um, I'm getting about some cheese and eggs. And I'm putting my bacon here. Hopefully my grits is ready. I'm going to wait on it. Cause I am hungry, y'all. I'm gonna eat. I really am. I'm gonna show y'all in a little bit. I'm not gonna eat a big old traditional breakfast. I just like to start my morning out because I will be working out later on today. Even though I'm not on my diet, I still try to get my workout in. I'm going to the YMCA today. I'm gonna weight train and probably be on the treadmill about an hour. Just kickstart my diet. And y'all, I tell you, these grits are looking mighty fine. Y'all know I love to put milk in my grits, so y'all about to see it right now. I'm trying to make it cute, y'all. I'm sorry if I can't. I put the wrong icon up for my video today. I should have put cheese and eggs and grits and bacon on the plate. But I couldn't find no high-resolution thumbnail, so I said, I'm going to put some kind of breakfast up there so they know I'm cooking breakfast. But anyway, y'all, this is going to be the final product. And I'm going to show you. I get some more cheese and eggs, and I love this cheese and eggs. That is my favorite breakfast food. Cheese and eggs. I ain't got to have no meat. I love cheese and eggs. That is my meat. <laughs> I, I love cheese and eggs. I do. So, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys the final product. After I put a little bit of butter on my toast, just put it in half. You'll see how cute it is. I promise you, you're going to love it. You're going to jump through the screen and eat with me. And I say, come on, let's eat. God bless us. Let's eat. So, you know, it's right. Way to a man or a woman's heart is through the stomach. We gotta eat, y'all. Let's break bread together, is what I say. And I love to cook and I love when people enjoy my food because one thing about me is this I give my heart in my food as well as my spirit. So when you come to my house, I want you to eat good and then have a good time. So even though if you're not physically with me, but we're here virtually, may y'all hungry? Let's eat. Come on in. I'm that type of person. I love to cook. But right now, what I'm doing, um, I'm about to get the knife out, y'all, and uh, cut this butter. I did have a butter knife, but my daughters, man, 
Every time they come home, they always end up taking something with them. And I love them so much. And I love that butter. And I put my mama gave it to them. But anyway, we're going to make do. And I'm already eating already. Y'all got excuse me, honey. And taste some cheese nicks so good. So what I'm going to do, just like that, I'm not even going to put any butter on it. Because that cheddar cheese inside them grits is all I need. Oh, yes. And y'all, this is the final product. Here it is. See that, y'all? I got my cheese and eggs. I forget to do it like that. Y'all see it? Got the turkey bacon, my toast, cut in half, grits, cheese and eggs. Let's eat, y'all. God is good. Thank you for this food. May it provide nourishment for our bodies, minds, and souls. Well, guys, I love you. I'm reading the chat. Thank you, Abandoned Boys. Thank you, all guys, for the thumbs up. Much love, abandoned boys. I'll be checking you out. Hi, Dorothy. How you doing, darling? How you doing? Assalamu alaikum. How you doing? And I want to say hola because I can see that you're Italian, just like me and Corey. So you guys have a wonderful day. I'll probably be back on another hour and we'll decorate the Christmas tree. But right now, y'all, I love you. I don't want to be disrespectful by eating in the chat. So I'm going to say much love and have a blessed day. Thanks. Mm -mm, y'all, it smells so good. I'll be back on an hour, y'all. Much love.